Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to bind a transmitter. This is really easy. For the guy that I'm making the video for, you'll see that you have a Toro transmitter. Okay, it says Toro right there. What The transmitter that originally came with your tank was a Taijan, and it wasn't any good, so I replaced it with a brand new Toro. But if you put the two side by side, you can see that they are almost exactly the same. The only real difference is the stickers. Okay? So now I've got this one, I turned on the transmitter and I turned on the tank, okay? But you can see that when I flip the switch, nothing happens, okay? It's not bound. Now that's no big deal. All I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the tank. This one's got a on-off switch under there. It's kind of hard. And I'm going to turn off the transmitter. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bind it to this one. And the reason I'm going to use the Toro is because this transmitter has been modified for the machine gun button and that's a little bit different so I don't want you to get confused so let me turn the tank back on so we can make sure that this one isn't bound okay she's on I gotta wait a second for everything to do its thing that's what I was waiting for I just heard the little click of the Komodo in there now when I hit the switch nothing happens okay so I'm gonna turn the tank back off Turn the transmitter back off. Now, with the transmitter uh, ready to go, you can see I don't even have joysticks on this one. It's brand new. But anyway, what you do is this. The switch on the right, flip it forward, okay? Now, you're going to turn on the tank and then turn on the transmitter and try to do them very close together. All right, so tank on, transmitter on. You might be able to see that that light is flashing. The instructions say five minutes, but that's a bunch of crap. Once the light starts flashing, or stops flashing, when the light stops flashing, flip that switch back. Starts right up. This transmitter is now bound, and you won't have to do that again for this tank. I'm also going to show you how to bind it with the machine gun button, just in case you ever make that mod and you need to know it. Okay, so now this is the one with the machine gun. And what's a little more complicated here is that I have to hold down the button. So I grab the transmitter. I'm going to hold down that button and flip that switch when I'm ready, okay? So here I go. I'm going to hold the button down. I'm keeping the button held down. I'm going to turn on the tank, turn on the transmitter. It didn't take. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to hold down the button. I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn on the tank and then the transmitter. Now it's flashing, okay? I got to keep holding that button down until it stops flashing. Now when I release the button, that's the same as when you flip that switch back, and now this tank will is bound to that controller. And you might want to do this mod, okay? This gives you a machine gun button and the little switches, I got like five of them at Radio Shack for like three bucks and it's really, really easy to do. I did a video on it. If you need to see it, it's no problem. I want to see if it's still bound to the other transmitter. So I'm going to wait till it shuts down. I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to turn this one off. Now I'm going to turn this one back on and turn the tank on. I want to see if it can be bound to too many, two transmitters at once. I know you can bind more than one tank to one transmitter, but I don't know about the other way around. Okay, this is no longer bound because I bound it to the other uh, transmitter. So let's go through the procedure just one more time just to make sure. All right, tank off, radio off. Flip the right switch forward. Tank on and radio on. Like as soon as you turn the tank on, turn the radio on. Tank on, radio on. Light is flashing. Okay, now we're bound. We flip this switch back. And it should start right now. And there you go. So that's how you bind a transmitter. Pretty easy. Flip the switch forward, turn the tank on, turn the radio on, wait for it to stop flashing, flip the switch back, start the tank. Hope that helps. See you next time.